What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to talk about doing what you can where you are with what you have. If you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe, grab some DYDSS merchandise and come and join us in the VIP club. Everything is linked in the description. So today this is the third installment of Monday Motivation and I wanted to talk about doing what you can where you are with what you have. And this goes in a couple of different directions. One way, physically. Another way, mentally. Another way, financially. And it doesn't even just stop there. That's just where I'm gonna be stopping today. So first things first, doing what you can, where you are with what you have when it comes to the physical aspect. Some of you might have some fitness goals. Maybe you don't, you don't wanna be a bodybuilder. You don't wanna be the next Michael Jordan or anything like that. It doesn't have to be anything related to that. Maybe you just wanna lose 20, 30 pounds. Maybe you wanna put on five, 10 pounds of muscle. Maybe you wanna be able to run a mile. Maybe you wanna be able to look better on the beach, whatever the case may be. You have a fitness goal or a physical goal and you wanna reach that goal. And maybe it's not a set number Maybe it's not what the scale is telling you. Maybe it's about what your reflection is looking like. Or maybe it's about how you're feeling when you wake up in the morning, because that's a problem I had. I was never overweight. I was never in you know, bad physical shape or anything like that. But I never used to live the overly healthy lifestyle that I do today. And I remember I used to wake up in the morning and it was a miserable, brutal, painful experience just getting out of bed and not only that the first probably like two or three hours of my day every day again a brutal experience i just wasn't feeling good i wasn't living a healthy lifestyle i wasn't exercising i wasn't eating properly i wasn't drinking tremendous amounts of water i wasn't going for walks on the trail like you're seeing that i'm doing right now well guess what I decided to make a change because I didn't want to feel that way anymore. I wanted to feel better. I wanted to wake up with more energy and I wanted to be able to get my day started ASAP. And I wanted to feel good throughout the day. I wanted to be able to exercise without it being a brutal experience. I wanted to be able to work out or go for a walk or do this or do that without feeling restrained or held back and not feeling good. So what I had to do was get off to a very small start. I had to do what I could do where I was at with what I had at the time. And that's how a lot of people can get started. You can start by drinking a little bit more water and a little bit less of whatever else it is that you drink. You can cut back on the smoking. You can cut back on the junk food. You can cut back on how much time you're spending sitting on the couch watching TV. And you can just go for a walk. You don't have to change your entire life. Go for a walk, 10 minutes, drink a water bottle, eat slightly more healthy, cut back on all that greasy nonsense from the fast food restaurants and maybe have a salad alongside whatever else that you would normally eat. Just eat a little bit cleaner, drink a little bit more water and just start walking, small steps. Next up, we can talk about doing what you can where you are with what you have when it comes to the mental aspect. So this is one that's especially important to me being that DYDSS, don't you dare stop smiling is the entire brand and catchphrase my entire life. It wasn't always the case. Not only did I used to wake up in a brutal state, exhausted, not feeling good, dragging myself along all day, not only was that the case, I wasn't really feeling all that great about myself. I didn't like the current state of my lifestyle. I had this victim mentality. I was like, oh man, this is going wrong because that happened. Or this is going wrong because of this person, that person, this person, that person. It's not my fault, it's your fault. It's your fault my life is this way. That's probably what I was thinking to myself, maybe subconsciously. I don't remember ever thinking those, those things, but that's what victim mentality is not taking accountability and not taking action in your own life. And I know for sure I wasn't taking action in mine back then anyway. 
And I decided, you know what? I don't want to be an unhappy person. I don't want to be a resentful person. I want to be a happier person. I want to be a more enthusiastic person. I want to be a more energetic person. And not only do I want to feel good, I want to be able to make other people feel good when they're in my presence. So what did I do? I started reading books about positivity. I started listening to audio about positivity. That's what I would do. I, would, I turned off the music and I started listening to podcasts and interviews and motivational speeches in the background while I was working or while I was exercising or, or whatever it was I was doing. I was listening to audio. And instead of watching TV, I was reading books. And most importantly, I was practicing. I was taking notes. I was studying happy people. I was saying, what do they do? How do they get their day started? How do they react when this happens? How do they react when that happens? What can I take from these people and implement in my own life to improve how I'm feeling mentally? So I took some notes, I gave it a shot, didn't work so well, so I gave it a shot again, didn't work so well, so I gave it a shot again, and I, I practiced over and over and over until I got the hang of it. Just like when you're five years old learning how to ride a bike got to practice. You don't just sit on a bike and take off and now you're good. No, you got to learn how to do it. You got to learn how to balance. You got to learn how to pedal. You got to learn how to hold on to the handlebars and, and how to turn and whatnot. It's the same thing, but decades later and a completely different avenue. So that's how I started to improve my life from a mental standpoint. And you can do this in small increments. You could read one chapter of a book. You can listen to 10 minutes of audio. You can practice little things at a time. All you gotta do is do what you can where you are with what you have. You can't just flip a switch and all of a sudden everything's perfect. No, it doesn't work that way. You gotta practice small steps. And now third and finally, I wanted to talk about doing what you can where you are with what you have when it comes to the financial aspect now I'll make this short because I'm sure a lot of this goes without saying. Many of us were not born into wealth. Many of us were not able to tap a family member on the shoulder and ask for a small loan of a million dollars. Many of us did not inherit some giant business or, or corporation or hundreds of thousands of dollars in some trust fund or anything like that. Many of us, that wasn't the case. So when it comes to improving your life from a financial aspect, Maybe you're someone like me. Maybe you only have a small amount of currency left over at the end of the month after the bills consumed a majority of it. Maybe you just have a, a small amount. Maybe it's $100, maybe it's $1,000, maybe it's more, maybe it's less. Well, guess what? You can do what you can where you are with what you have by just getting started. Taking a little bit of that currency and doing what you believe needs to be done with it. Whether you put it into a savings account and you're saving up to buy a house. Maybe that's your goal. Maybe you want to buy a house. You got to save up to buy a house. You can't just buy a house if you don't have the cash for it. You got to save up the cash. Maybe you want to invest it. Well, guess what? You might not be able to make a multi-million dollar investment in the S&P 500, but guess what? You could throw $5 in today if that's what you choose. Maybe you want to get the silver and gold coins. Well, guess what? Instead of going after a thousand troy ounces of silver or 50 ounces of gold, work your way up to 10 troy ounces of silver and one ounce of gold. Small steps. That's the third installment of Monday Motivation. Hopefully everybody enjoyed it. If you have any tips or tricks, let me know in the comments. If you like the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Grab some DYDSS merchandise. Come and join us in the VIP club. Everything is linked in the description. Go kill it. Don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.